Hello, I'm Greek Blood, and today I'm going to show you how to take a video and make it backwards on Windows Movie Maker. So it should be a video and it should be backwards. So let's get to it. So first of all, what you're going to need to do before you even start this process is obviously take a video and upload it to your computer. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with you right now. So just going to take the stick and plug it in, uh, the memory stick. There it is. So, you know, open. Yeah, however you upload it, you're going to do it that way. Import it. So, I do it this way. Just take the clip you want. Just simply drag it to your desktop. I'm going to minimize that because I might need that after. So, you're going to take the clip. Open up Windows Movie Maker. Now I'm going to remove all this. I don't need that. Take the clip that you want, drag it in. For some reason, Windows Movie Maker is not going to let me do that. So, file, oh no, uh, go to pictures, desktop, and look for the clip. There it is. Import. There it is. So, I'm just going to drag that into the timeline, play it. That's what it looks like. That's how I filmed it. So, what I'm going to make it do is simply make it look like it's levitating, like it's going to, by itself, uh, get up. So, what you want to do is, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Okay? I recommend, you're going to pause right here, okay, Antonio? I recommend starting from the end point of the selected clip and going frame by frame backwards. But in this, I accidentally fail and I just go forward. And that's not what you're supposed to do. But if you can do that, if you want to, but it takes more time. So anyways, just going to start at the clip that you want. So it's going to start right about there. So you're going to just split that. I'm going to think of what I'm doing because I'm failing right now. So you're going to remove that. And this is what you want to work with. So all you have to do is now take a picture and save. So go to tools, take a picture and save. And then press. So save again. So press. So you're going to do that. So basically what you're doing is. taking a picture, saving, and then your next frame. Take a picture, save, next frame. I'm going to speed this up a bit. So, just a few more. So, so actually that's it. So split that and remove it. Remove everything. Now you have all the pictures you want. And since I failed, and this isn't live, I'm actually watching this right now. Since I failed, I'm going to have to highlight each of them. Not If I did this right, I'd have to highlight and drag. But I'm going to start from the last one and go to the first one. So start last, 14, 13, 12, 11, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7. So this is going to take about... 30 seconds of my time because I made a big mistake. It's this software, I'm not good with it. So, yeah. Four more. Sorry for taking up your time. Okay, so there. Now, you have what you want. If you go backwards, it'll look like that. No, oh, yeah. If you go, yeah, forward. So, so what you're going to do is change it to storyboard. Click on the effects icon that's blank and go to speed up double and add as much as you can of speed up double. Until you can't add any more effects. Okay. Now, go the the effects icon. 
Make sure it's the effects op icon. Copy the effects icon. Now you're going to take the first clip on the icon again and remove the effects. Now you're going to go to, I'm going to fail here, so just bear with me. What you have to do is go to edit, select all, but right now I'm failing. So, uh, there you go, good boy. Select all. Now, just paste on anyone you want, because it's selected all. And now each and every clip, uh, picture, has an effect, a speed up double. So it's 0.6 seconds every frame, making it, the animation very brilliant. So it makes it look like it levitates on itself. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing that you could do. So now just publish it to your desktop. And my computer's a fail here. This is embarrassing. You get the point. It's gonna. But if you're not happy with the end result of that didn't work for me, voice recording. So, if you're not happy with the end results, if it's too fast or too slow, all you have to do is just simply, I'm going to switch back to timeline, I prefer that, simply import the select, selected clip that you want. I'm an idiot. So, go to Oh, fail. So, desktop, and it's called movie, so I'm just going to type in M. It's going to show up there as movie. Import it. Drag it in. If it's per personal preference, if you think it's too, sh it's too fast, then you go to slow down half, slow down half. If you think it's, well, if you think it's too, f too, sh too quick, no, if you think it's too f short, too slow, then you go to speed up double. I mixed that up a bit, so, but I liked it the way it was. It just looked better. It looked more real. So, that's all you have to do. Do the final touches, and that's it. I'm going to make another video on how to get the audio for the clip. Not only that. As you can see, I'm Greek blood, but that's not what my... Desktop says, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to make it more. Thank you, and goodbye.